we at ISRO welcome you to the live coverage of India's prestigious Chandrayaan-3 mission's landing event on the lunar surface. The hard work of the entire ISRO community has come to fruition. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. Yes. India is on the moon. Naya itihas bante hi har bhartiya just na mein doob gaya hai. Mein team Chandrayaan ko, ISRO ko aur desh ke sabhi vajjyaniko ko and we became the fourth country to land to demonstrate the soft landing onto the moon surface and we became the first country to go to the near to the south pole of the moon so chandrayaan 3 is a result of the work done by thousands of scientists engineers our staff and industries and support team across isro and other places thank you team isro we will continue to do our best and make our flag fly, ISRO's as well as India's flag fly high. And of course, this is not the work of us alone. This is a work of a generation of ISRO leadership and ISRO scientists. With successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, India has got a special place in space exploration and space research. And this credit goes to ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, which is under Government of India. So in today's video, I will talk about how to join ISRO as a scientist. So watch the video till the end and do let me know how many of you want to join ISRO as a scientist or engineer. Indian Space Research Organization is the space agency of India. The organization is involved in science, engineering and technology to harvest the benefits of outer space for India and the mankind. ISRO is a major constituent of Department of Space, DOS, Government of India. The department executes the Indian space program primarily through various centers or units within ISRO. ISRO was previously the Indian National Committee for Space Research set up by Government of India in 1962 as envisioned by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. ISRO was formed on August 15, 1969 and later it was and later DOS was set up and ISRO was brought under DOS in 1972. The primary objective of ISRO is the development and application of space technology for various national needs. To fulfill this objective, ISRO has established major space system for communication, television broadcasting and meteorological services, resources monitoring and management, space-based navigation services. ISRO has developed satellite launch vehicles, PSLV and GSLV to place the satellite in the required orbits. ISRO contributes to the science and science education in India, various dedicated research centers and autonomous institutions for remote sensing astronomy, astrophysics, atmospheric sciences and space sciences in general function under the aegis of ISRO. ISRO's own 
lunar and interplanetary missions along with other scientific projects encourage and promote science education apart from providing valuable data to the scientific community which in turn enriches science. ISRO has its headquarters in Bangalore. Its activities are spread across various centers and units. Launch vehicles are built at Bikram Sarabhai Space Center, Tiruvananthapuram. Satellites are designed and developed at UR Rao Satellite Center, Bangalore. Integration and launching of satellites and launch vehicles are carried out from Satish Dhawan Space Center Sri Harikota. Development of liquid stages including cryogenic stage is carried out in Valiamala and Bangalore. Sensors for communication and remote sensing satellites and application aspects of the space technology are taken up at Space Application Center Ahmedabad and remote sensing satellite data reception processing and dissemination is entrusted to National Remote Sensing Center Hyderabad. The activities of ISRO are guided by its chairman. There are mainly three ways to join ISRO as scientist or an engineer. The first way is to get into Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology. The second way is to appear into the written test conducted by ISRO ICRB. The third way often ISRO is seen in the campuses of IIT, NIT for recruitment purpose. Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology declared as deemed to be university under Section 3 of the UGC Act 1956 is an autonomous institute under Department of Space Government of India. Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology is located at Valiamala, Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala. Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology is offering 4 years B.Tech in Aerospace Engineering, 4 years B.Tech in Electronics and Communication Engineering, Avionics and 5 years dual degree in B.Tech and Master of Technology. The dual degree program at Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology is a 5 year 10 semesters program. On successful completion, the students are awarded a B.Tech degree in Engineering Physics and a Master of Science or M.Tech degree with specialization like MSc in Astronomy and Astrophysics, MSc in Solid State Physics, MTech in Art System Science, MTech in Optical Engineering. There is no exit option for the dual degree program. Now let us go through the seat matrix for the UG programs at IIST. BTech in Aerospace Engineering, the total seat capacity is 75. Out of that, for general OBC SCST students, the total number of seat allotted is 60. For EWS candidate, it is 6. For PMSSS candidate, it is 3. And for women, six seats are reserved in BTEC in aerospace engineering. If you look at BTEC electronics and communication engineering avionics, the total seat capacity is 75, and out of that, 60 seats are reserved for general OBC and CL candidate, SC and ST students. EWS occupies six seats out over here, and PMSSS candidates have three seats, and women candidates have six seats. The, in the dual degree program, we can find that the total seat capacity is 24, out of that, 20 seats are reserved for general OBC. BCNCL SCST students, EWS candidate occupy two seats and women candidates occupy two seats. IIST admission is through JE advanced rank. IIST option is not available in JOSA counseling. So you have to do the separate dedicated counseling for IIST and the counseling portal right now you can see on the screen where you have to register with your JE advanced rank and do the counseling. Now let us look into the closing rank for IIST UG admission rank 2023. For BTEC Aerospace Engineering general category, the opening rank was 192 closing rank was 860 for btec ece the opening rank for general candidates was 201 and the closing rank was 1087 for the dual degree program the opening rank for general two candidate was 13 and the closing rank was 866 you can follow the chart now what is very interesting over here if we study that for the sc category the opening rank was 55 and for the closing rank was 169 so if you look into the closing rank of general category and SC category for BTEC Aerospace Engineering at IIST. So general uh, category rank has moved far for closing whereas the SC uh, category closing rank uh, was stuck to 169. Same happened with the ST category 54 was the closing rank for BTEC Aerospace Engineering. In the dual degree program the same pattern we can observe that the OBC closing rank was 445 whereas the general closing rank for dual degree at IIST 2023 closing rank was 866. So accordingly, you can plan your preparation for IIST UG admission. The semester fees at IIST is 67,950 per semester. The hostel charges are 23,750 per semester. 
IIST offers merit and need based scholarship as well. Let us look into the merit scholarships offered by IIST. The top five students in the undergraduate program admitted who have secured All India rank in J Advanced Examination 2023 up 2000 will be entitled to full fee waiver for the first year. IIST students whose family income is below 5 lakhs per annum pays one third of the tuition fee and for those uh, students whose family income is below 1 lakh per annum are not required to pay any tuition fee. Now for IIST BTEC students for undergraduate and dual degree program, there is direct recruitment in ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Based on notified vacancies in different specialization by ISRO, undergraduate and dual degree program students uh, will be eligible for recruitment to the post of scientist or engineer. Now interested students securing a CGPA of 7 or above at the end of uh, six semester or eight semester for dual degree program will be eligible to appear directly for a job placement interview organized by ISTRO headquarters. The eligible candidates will be interviewed by the expert committee at ISRO and panel list will be prepared accordingly. The posting of the candidates to the centers or units shall be notified by ISRO headquarters. The scientist or engineer recruitment is often done through ISRO's ICRB, ISRO Centralized Recruitment Board. From time to time, ISRO issues notification depending on the vacancy for the post of scientist or engineer where the eligibility criteria is BE or BTEC in relevant field and the age limit is around 28 years. And then there will be a ISRO centralized recruitment board will conduct a written test. Let us look into the written test structure. In the ISRO ICRB written test, the time allotted is 120 minutes. And basically there will be multiple choice questions. The test is divided into two parts. In part A, there will be 80 multiple choice questions, which you have to answer. For every right answer, you will score plus one. And for every wrong answer, you will lose one third of the marks. So this is the pattern of marking and if we look into the part B, this is basically an aptitude test. This aptitude test part is in part B of the ISRO ICRB written test and it will contain maximum 15 multiple choice question which will be totaling 220 marks and there is no negative marks in the part B section of ISRO ICRB centralized recruitment board written test. Your performance in the written test, the candidates are shortlisted for the interview in the ratio of 1 is to 5. If we look into the qualifying criteria in the ICRB written test and interview, the general category 50% marks is required in A and B, uh, both sections in the written test and you have to score also 50% marks in the interview. Total aggregate percentage required is 60%. In the reserve category, you required to score 40% marks in part A and part B of the written test. In the interview, you also have to score minimum 40%, 40 marks out of 100 and the aggregate cutoff is 50 percent. Now the third way to get into ISRO as a scientist or an engineer is through campus recruitment. So ISRO visits IISC Bangalore, IITs and NITs directly for campus recruitment and here the selection is made through interview. If we look into the latest statistics, 60 to 65 percent of the recruitment has been made from IISC Bangalore, 20 to 25 percent recruitment has been made from the IITs and the NITs have contributed the rest of the 10 to 20 percent of the campus recruitment. ISRO has also tied up with various colleges all over India, regional academic center for space that have been opened in IIT BHU, Varanasi, MNIT Jaipur, NIT Kurukshetra. Similarly, space technology cells are open in Savitri Bhai Phule University and also in IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi. So if you are studying in following institutions, you can expect to attach yourself in the projects associated with ISRO and uh, you can be a post of scientist or an engineer. So if you have so if you have ISRO in your mind and you want to serve India through your services at ISRO, do let me know in the comment box. I will be happy to know that that uh, Apna College Net YouTube channel has catered to your dream destination that is ISRO for your career. If you have any more queries, you feel free to connect with us on the phone number right now shown on the screen. You can follow us on our Facebook page and Instagram page and also like and subscribe to Apna College Net YouTube channel for such informative videos on the premier institutions in India. Jai Hind.